Hello everyone, uh, here's my first update for Go Big or Go Home Group Build. Um, I am doing the Grumman F4F-4 Wildcat. Um, this is the old Revell 132nd scale. Previous video, I did an out of box and here's where I am with the kit so far. Um, as you see, I made some progress uh, over the past few weeks. I've been doing a little bit here and there in between work and other things, you know, life stuff. Um, so, so far I'm in the kit for an old kit from dating back from the late 60s, the original mold, and this particular pressing from 1986, it's, uh, not too bad, I mean, considering its age, um, all things considered, but it's a pretty, uh, basic kit. Um, uh, what's been taking me a long time is just, I'm working out with the photo etch that you see here, um, so I am not a photo etch person, um, so what I have done here so far, I have replaced the part of the cockpit here with photo etch. That being the seat, the seat belt, the backrest here. Um, I did not do the side instrument panels, even though there are photo etch. Mainly because from test fitting, once closed, you're really not going to see that um, side detail much. So I just left it out for this. Um, and here on the instrument panel, um, I had to cut off the original IP uh, that you see here. Uh, and to install the uh, photo etch IP, uh, which is layered. You got the back part, which is going to be green interior green and then you got the part in the middle uh, which is going to be black and then you sandwich the film in between uh, so that's what I'm working on next also this is photo etch which you see here the middle uh, instrument console here uh, that is photo etch because otherwise the kit part is really a skinny thing um, I've done some work on the engine uh, as you see here uh, I, paint, I primed it, painted it aluminum, uh, added a well wash um, and that's what you see here um, I mean, again, for an old kit, I mean, it's pretty decent in detail, at least from the front. I mean, from the side, uh, you can see that's not so great. Uh, you got these push rods here, are just mold it's just a solid thing here. It's not really a rod. Uh, but from the front, you know, it, 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 looks, it looks the part, for the most part, so that's not bad. Um, here on the interior, which are painted green, if you see there's little blue stripes, that's the actual plastic. Uh, before I primed and painted it, um, what I did, I put up a little piece of thin tape, this green tape you see here, that's about a millimeter or so wide. Let me show you. Um, I just put that there in these places uh, before I paint it. Uh, reason being, this is where the bulkheads, once you put all this together, this is where the bulkheads plastic to plastic are going to um, attach. Uh, and I wanted to have a nice, good, clean seam area so they have a plastic plastic bond. Uh, here along the edges I didn't care to mask this because I can just easily wipe this off some acetone and wipe off any paint there before I glue them. Uh, so that's why that's there. Uh, the propeller. Uh, Prime painted it uh, again aluminum. Um, so you're going to have this aluminum, this aluminum. Uh, then I'm going to paint the yellow tips, mask that off, mask off the aluminum parts and then paint it in the black in the middle. Uh, then do some wash and so forth here. Uh, this propeller had um, a big hole here on all three blades which I had to fill in and put in and sand that down. Um, I imagine that hole there is just because this part is pretty thick and probably back then just needed to have that hole there so that um, you know probably save some plastic or just part of the molding process. And see what else I've done. Oh the wings. Um, I start playing with the wings. Now these I want to do the wing fold. Um, unfortunately part of this is broken and that's the way they came off the sprue. Um, if you see here, this is for the other wing. Uh, you have the the hole, the pin, the pin. Up, oh, supposed to be a hole there, but there's no part, and it's just not there. It wasn't even broken off from the bag either. I just couldn't find it. Maybe it was, and maybe I accidentally tossed it out. And I was uh, unboxing it. Oh well. Anyway, so I got to figure out a good way to have the wings folded and attached. Uh, so that's going to be the next big part after I finish completing the interior. Uh, so my goal next is just to complete the interior, uh, which includes finishing out the instrument panel, the film, uh, painting in the little details inside, the uh, control stick, and so forth. Uh, seal everything up. Um, and once that is done, then I'll work on the rest of the exterior parts, work my way out. Alright, so that's my quick little short update. I hope you guys are enjoying your build. Uh, stay tuned for more in the coming weeks. Thank you. Bye-bye.